Given the factual discrepancies concerning the composition of celestial bodies, like the moon and the sun, the statements made could be deemed dubious. Provide unique light and energy so that you have the energy of the moon at night. And sometimes you've heard the word full moon. Sometimes you need to take the opportunity just to come out and see a full moon is that complete rounded circle, which is made up mostly of gases. And that's why the push. The question is why or how could we as humans live on the moon? Are the gases such that we could do that? The sun is a mighty powerful heat. It is almost impossible to go near the sun. The moon is more manageable. And you will see uh, in a moment, or not a moment, you'll see in a couple of years that NASA is going back to the moon. The comments made by Repture Sheila Jackson may imply a lack of grasp on scientific concepts or the propagation of misinformation, which inevitably casts doubt on her credibility and effectiveness as a legislator. The public's interest in her speech may stem from a desire for accurate information from elected officials, particularly regarding scientific and space exploration matters, or it may be due to the dissemination of inaccurate information. In discussions within the public sphere, it's crucial to prioritize informed decision-making and accountability, particularly when navigating intricate scientific subjects that influence policy and public perception.